Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. In this video, I'll be opening up a Shining Legends Pokemon Booster Box. Of course, Shining Legends is a special expansion set and is available only in sealed Pokemon TCG products. So this is essentially a custom booster box. I did buy 36 booster packs of Shining Legends from Troll and Toad for $3.49 a piece. This custom booster box opening is part of the 20 Pokemon booster box opening series I'm doing for the summer of 2018 on my channel. Shining Legends is the 75th expansion in the Pokemon TCG. It was released in October of 2017. There are many legendary and mythical Pokemon in this set that are featured in past Pokemon movies. I am a big fan of this set because of the Shining cards that you can pull from these packs. And with these packs, you are guaranteed at least a rare holo in each and every pack. So I will just open up all 36 booster packs in this specific video. I won't break it up into part one and part two. So start it off here with a Shiny Mew cover artwork design pack. White colored code cards in each and every pack. Four and two is a card trick. And the very first pack starts with Zorua, Quillfish, Minin, Shroomish, Jinx, Fighting Type Energy, Arbok, Venusaur, which is pretty good in a Grass Type deck, Switch, Reverse Solo of a Grass Type Energy, a beautiful looking card, and the final card would be a Zacrom, so a legendary Pokemon, a rare holo. Not exactly sure what the pull rates will be in these packs just because I bought 36 packs individually. There are several valuable cards in this set. Three cards are worth around $30 a piece. The Zoroark GX Rainbow Rare and then both Mewtwo GX Secret Rares. The Shining GX and then the GX Rainbow Rare. So this pack starts with Torocat, Breloom, Larvesta, Minin, Torkoal, Fire-type Energy, Sophocles, Carnivine, Feraligator, one of my favorite Pokemon, Reverse Solo of a Bulbasaur, just a common, and the rare would be a Mewtwo GX, and this is one of the more valuable cards in this set, the one that I was just talking about, the Shining Mewtwo GX. This is a secret rare, card number 78, of 73. So very reminiscent of the first Pokemon movie. Set that one aside. Definitely made the opening right there. Next up here, a shiny Genesect pack. Of the shining cards in this set, the Mew would be worth the most, the shining Mew. I have done a video reviewing all the shining cards. Plusle to start this pack. Bulbasaur. Ivysaur. Stunfisk, Totodile, Darkness Type Energy, Switch, Carnivine, Electrode, Reverse Solo of a Golurk, which is an uncommon, and the rare here would be a Reshiram. Shiny Rayquaza pack now. This pack starts with Zoroa. Zoroark GX has a great ability. Trade is what its name is. Very good for drawing cards into your hand each and every turn. Plusle, Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Stunfisk, Darkness Type Energy, Electrode, Great Ball, Double Colorless Energy, an excellent special energy card, Reverse Hollow of a How, which is an uncommon, and the rare would be a Hoopa. And I am not a big fan of this card. A lot of people just build almost troll-like decks with Hoopa. That way, if you are using GX and EX cards as your primary attackers in your deck, it's very hard to take down Hoopa. Shiny Mew pack again. Toracat to start the pack. Scraggy. Quillfish. Torkoal. Minin. Metal type energy, Incineroar, energy retrieval, Lipard, reverse solo 
of a carnivine, which isn't uncommon, and the rare would be a Latios, one of my favorite looking rare holo cards in the set. Again, a shiny Mew pack, my favorite cover artwork design. Golet to start this pack. Weasel, Scraggy, Croconaw, Jinx, Metal Type Energy, Double Colorless Energy, Switch, Venusaur, Reverse Solo, of a Plusle, just a common, and the rare here would be a Palkia. Next pack. Toracat to start this one. Scraggy. Crocona, Voltorb, Golet, Lightning Type Energy, Energy Retrieval, Scrafty, Great Ball, Reverse Solo, of a Darkness Type Energy. Would love to build any type of deck and just include these Reverse Solo Energy cards. And the final card would be a Raichu GX. So the first Ultra Rare pull in this opening in Raichu GX. So one Secret Rare. One ultra rare pull so far. And of course, I'll summarize all of my good pulls at the end of the opening. Shiny Mew pack again. This pack starts with Shroomish, Minin, Quillfish, Zoroa, Plusle, Fighting Type Energy, Electrode, Lipard, Double Colorless Energy, Reverse Solo of a Sophocles, which is an uncommon, and the rare would be a Marshadow. Another good looking rare holo card in the set. Next pack. Totodile to start this pack. Pikachu, Voltorb, Scraggy, Buizel, Darkness Type Energy, Super Scoop Up, Sophocles, Incineroar, Reverse Solo of a Stunfisk, which is a common, and the rare here would be another Marshadow. So haven't pulled a Shining card out yet. Shiny Mew would love to pull that Shining Mew card. Breloom to start this pack. Litten, Larvesta, Purloin, Croconaw, Grass-type Energy, Arbok, Incineroar, Sophocles, Reverse Solo, of a Howl, which is an uncommon, and the rare would be a Manaphy. Mewtwo cover artwork pack now. Croconaw to start this pack. Golet, Bulbasaur, Totodile, Pikachu, Fire-type Energy, Pokemon Catcher, Volcarona, Lipard, Reverse Solo of a for Alligator. Normally for Alligator is a rare in this set, it is an uncommon. And the final card would be a Shaman. Shiny Genesect pack now. Litten to start the pack. Voltorb, Breloom, Ekans, Stunfisk. Grass-type Energy, Arbok, Floatzel, Electrode, Reverse Solo of a Minin. Still on the hunt for that first rare Reverse Solo. This one is a common. And the final card would be a Verizian. Next pack here. Pikachu to start this one. Jinx, Shroomish, Minin. Quillfish, Metal Type Energy, Super Scoop Up, Spiritomb, Golurk, Reverse Solo of a Spiritomb, an uncommon rarity wise, and the final card would be a Reshiram. So it's been a few packs now since I pulled anything too great out. Mewtwo pack again. Zoroark GX is the card I'd like to pull most since I already pulled that Shining Mewtwo GX. Scraggy to start this pack, Buizel, Minin, Stunfisk, Plusle, 
fire type energy, warp energy, how? Scrafty, reverse hollow of a Verizon. And there is the first rare reverse hollow pull. And the final card would be a shining Volcanion. And that is the first shining pull of this opening. And these cards are textured. They do look pretty cool in person as well. Set that one aside. Pretty happy with that pack. Shining Rayquaza pack now. This pack starts with Shroomish, Minin, Quillfish, Zorua, Plusle, Fighting Type Energy, Carnivine, Lily, a pretty good supporter card, Venusaur, Reverse Hollow of a Golet, just a common, and the rare here would be another Marshadow. So I believe that is three Marshadow Hollows already. This is a pretty small set overall. Bulbasaur to start this one. Ivysaur. Stunfisk. Totodile. Litten. Psychic type energy. Electrode. Lipard. Double colorless energy. Reverse hollow of an Ultra Ball, which is an uncommon. And the final card would be a Raikou. Shiny Mew pack now. I'd say we're about almost halfway through these 36 booster packs. Pikachu to start this pack. Stunfisk. Ekans. Breloom. Voltorb. Water type energy. Pokemon Breeder, the one trainer card available as a full art in this set. Ultra Ball. For Alligator, Reverse Solo of a Pikachu, just a common, and the rare would be another Marshadow Hollow. Next pack here Litten to start this pack, Purloin, Voltorb, Golet, Buizel, Darkness Type Energy, Switch, How. Great Ball, Reverse Hollow of a Keldeo, just the second rare Reverse Hollow, and the final card would be a Shaman. Shiny Mew Pack now. Zoroa to start this pack, would still love to pull Zoroark GX, Purloin, Litten, Voltorb, Breloom, Water Type Energy, Arbok, Venusaur, Switch, Reverse Hollow of a Sophocles, which is an uncommon, and the final card would be a Hoopa. Another shiny Mew pack. Very happy with that Secret Rare Mewtwo GX pull, but haven't pulled much so far. That is the risk you take buying individual packs online like this. Jinx to start this pack. Scraggy. Croconaw, Buizel, Golet, Fairy Type Energy, Electrode, Pokemon Breeder, Spiritomb, Reverse Hollow of a How, another uncommon Reverse Hollow, and the final card would be a Manaphy. So lots of duplicates when it comes to rare Hollow pulls. And of course, I have completed this set already and did a video on it showing my entire Shining Legends Pokemon card collection. Ivysaur to start this one. Jinx. Minin. Torkoal. Quillfish. Metal type energy. Venusaur. Ultra Ball. Next up, Damage Mover. Reverse Solo of a Shaman. So another rare Reverse Solo. And the final card would be in a Veltal. Have not pulled that card yet. Shiny Genesec pack now. Minin to start this pack. Stunfisk. Plusle. Purloin. Golet. Fairy type energy. Great Ball. How. Switch. Reverse Hollow of a Plusle, just a common. 
and the rare would indeed be the card I was hoping for. It is a Zoroark GX. And with this trade ability, it allows you to get two additional cards into your hand each and every turn. So Zoroark GX can be combined with several different Pokemon out there in a competitive deck. Next pack here. Take a look at the code. Quillfish to start this one. Scraggy. Toracat. Plusle. Buizel. Grass type energy. Pokemon Breeder. Arbok. Great Ball. Reverse Solo. A metal type energy. Another beautiful looking energy card. And the final card would be a Shaman. Getting down there on packs, I'd say we're about two-thirds of the way through this booster box opening. I guess this custom booster box opening, really a 36 booster pack lot. Croconaut to start this pack. Jinx. Pikachu. Ekans. Toracat. Metal type energy. Spiritomb. Incineroar. Sophocles. Reverse hollow of a Keldeo. I've actually pulled this card twice in rare reverse hollow form now. And the final card would be a Polkia. Shroomish to start this pack. Golet. Purloin. Plusel. Stunfisk. Darkness type energy. Feraligator. Incineroar. Energy retrieval. Reverse Holo of a Zekrom, so a couple of rare Reverse Holos here, and the final card would be a Manaphy. Mewtwo pack again. Breloom to start this pack. Litten, Larvesta, Purloin, Croconaw, Fairy type energy, double colorless energy, Scrafty, how? Reverse Holo of an Ivysaur, just a common. And the rare would be another Shaman Holo. It would be nice to pull a couple of more Shining cards out here before this opening concludes. The pack starts with Plusle, Jinx, Croconaw, Scraggy, Larvesta, Metal Type Energy. Switch, Floatzel, Energy Retrieval, Reverse Hollow of another Ivysaur. So again, a common. And the final card would be a Verizon. Shining Rayquay is a pack. This is probably my second favorite cover artwork design in Shining Legends. Breloom to start this pack. Ekans, Stunfisk, Pikachu, Bulbasaur. Fire type energy, Great Ball, Electrode, Lipard, Reverse Hollow of a Croconaw, just a common, and the final card would be a Manaphy. Shiny Genesect Pack, Voltorb to start this pack, Ekans, Scraggy, Buizel, Minin. Water type energy, Volcarona, Lipard, Ultra Ball, Reverse Solo of a Fighting type energy. Again, such a great looking energy card. And the final card would be a Zekrom. Back to my favorite cover artwork design, Shiny Mew. First card in this pack, Croconaw, Voltorb, Golet, Ekans. Breloom, Fire Type Energy, Incineroar, for Alligator, Super Scoop Up, Reverse Solo of a Pokemon Catcher, which is an uncommon, and the final card. There we go, another Shining Pole, this time a Shining Rayquaza. So that is two Shining cards so far. It looks like six more packs left to go after this one. Plusle to start this pack, Stunfisk, Minin, Buizel, 
Scraggy, Darkness type energy, Super Scoop Up, for Alligator, Incineroar, Reverse Sala of a Water type energy, my favorite type of energy, and the final card would be another Hoopa. Five packs left to go now, including this one. My math is off on the last pack. Breloom to start this pack. Minin. Larvesta. Torkoal. Ivysaur. Darkness type energy. Great Ball. Scrafty. Energy Retrieval. Reverse Solo of a Shroomish, just a common. And the final card would be a Mewtwo GX. And this is a GX Full Art. A great looking card here really stands out with that purple background. And one of the better GX cards in this set. Set that one aside. I've done very well with Mewtwo out of this opening. Shiny Rayquaza pack now. And I do really like these shining cards in this set. It was a bit of a disappointment that some of these shining cards were made into Black Star promos. Ho Oh Lugia and Celebi were all Black Star promos. Totodile to start this pack. Buizel. Plusle. Toracat. Scraggy. Metal type energy. Volcarona. Lipard. Energy retrieval. Reverse solo. They Raikou. This card is a rare, and the final card would be another ultra rare pull, the one and only full art trainer in this set in a Pokemon Breeder. So back to back packs with full art cards on the inside. So the pulls are starting to heat up here towards the end of this opening. Three packs left to go here. And if my memory serves me correctly, I do not think I pulled that Pokemon Breeder from a pack before. Ivysaur to start this pack. Stunfisk. Totodile. Litten. Purloin. Grass-type energy. Electrode. Lipard. Double colorless energy. Reverse solo of a Keldeo. So I believe that is the third rare reverse solo I pulled of Keldeo. And the final card would be an Eveltal. Second to last pack here. Would like to pull one more Shining card. That way I would get three out of the 36 packs. About one in 12 packs in. Ivysaur to start this pack. Torkoal. Bulbasaur. Pikachu. Buizel. Fire type energy. How? Great Ball. Electrode, Reverse Solo, of a Stun Fist, just the common. And the final card would be another Ultra Rare pull, this time a Raichu GX. So the second Raichu GX I've pulled in this opening. On to the final pack now. Hoping for something good. Even if I don't get anything here, still very solid pulls overall. So the final pack starts with Zorua. Litten, Quillfish, Shroomish, Golet, Fighting Type Energy, Floatzel, Switch, Warp Energy, Reverse Solo of a Venusaur, which is an uncommon. And then the final card in this opening would be a Mewtwo GX. So that makes it where I pulled all three Mewtwo GX. One Secret Rare one full art, and one regular GX. I just didn't pull the GX Rainbow Rare. But very happy with this opening overall. I can summarize my pulls now. So out of the 36 booster packs, I did pull out 27 rare holo cards, and then nine ultra rares, secret rares, and shining cards. I was able to pull out seven rare reverse holo. Started off here with Verizon, Keldeo, one of three, Raikou, Zekrom, the second Keldeo, Shaman, and then the third Keldeo. I was able to pull out only two Shining cards in Shining Rayquaza and Shining Volcanion. And then as far as the Ultra Rares and Secret Rares go, I was able to pull out four regular GX, one Zoroark GX, two Raichu GX, 
and then one mu 2 gx. I also pull out a mu 2 gx full art, one full art trainer in Pokemon Breeder, and then the best pull of the opening, the mu 2 gx secret rare, the shining version. So to summarize this 36 booster pack opening, I did pull out seven rare reverse hollow, four regular GX, one GX full art, one full art trainer, one GX secret rare, and two shining cars. So overall, I was very happy with this booster pack lot opening. Next week in this series, I will be opening up an Ancient Origins Pokemon booster box. So there you have it. Thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.